to winning isn't easy. Betting that your long-term disability benefits won't be cut off if you go to the big game or the Taylor Swift concert. I'm a big baseball and football fan, and I love it when I can go to a game. And I bet if you're like me, uh, you like doing that. You like being out, uh, catching the excitement of uh, of the game, the, the thrill of watching uh, the game, in li uh, game live, the fan interaction. Um, but I am not collecting ERISA disability insurance benefits, so I'm not really concerned about what I'm doing or not doing or being caught doing something. When you apply for your ERISA disability benefits, the disability carrier plan is going to ask you to fill out forms called activity of daily living forms. These forms are going to ask questions about your activities of daily living um, and may even ask you if you go to sporting events, including professional sports, amateur sports, or just, you know, your kid's baseball game or soccer game. Please, number one, do not post any pictures of your tailgating, drinking, cheering, or anything of that nature, because I will assure you that the carrier plan is searching on every social media platform, including gaming sites, to see what you're doing. Secondly, as you're filling out those forms, please tell the truth and make sure that your doctor knows what it is you're doing and the price that you pay. Now, look, you know, your doctor might be a, a Gator fan and they understand why you want to you know, go see the Gators play FSU. But the doctor also needs to understand all the things that had to be done to get you to the game, how you may have to, have to use a wheelchair to get there, the, the fact that you had to use the elevator in a chair or an elevator as you were walking uh, and you sit, sat in a special seat. So you had to get up or you had to leave. And the next day you had to take more pain medication and you felt miserable, but it was worth seeing the Gators beat FSU. Okay. So, you need to understand that once the carrier or the plan decides to pay your benefits, they are not going to stop asking you to fill out forms. They're not going to stop looking at social media sites. They're not going to stop looking at the history that you put in your medical records. So you got to be very, very careful. And I know that the big game is one that you want to go to so you can cheer your team on, but it might be better to host or attend a game party at your home or that of a friend. And please don't put any social media posting about that. Again, this is a bit of common sense type stuff. Um, but I know you want to live your life uh, and live it to the fullest that you're capable of doing. But be careful. Remember, the disability carriers or plans are looking for a reason to deny or terminate benefits. Um, and, and please make sure, that, again, that there is no social media posting. You know, even going to uh, a golf tournament, even watching your kids play soccer or, or baseball or whatever sports they're involved in, if it ends up in social on social media posts, it is fair game for the disability carrier to put surveillance on you, take your statement, and ultimately to approach your doctor about changing restrictions and limitations. So don't let your team's big win be your big loss. Got it? I hope you've enjoyed this week's episode of Winning Isn't Easy. Please like our page, leave a review, share it with your friends and family, and subscribe to this podcast. I look forward to talking with you in next week's episode of Winning Isn't Easy.